made in Hollywood. The animation supervisor is in charge of overseeing the entire team of animators for a live action film with animated sequences or characters. Hal Hickel studied film graphics at California Institute of the Arts. Mr. Hickel began his career as a clay animator and has gone on to serve as the animation supervisor on such films as Iron Man and Pacific Rim. Hi, I'm Hal Hickel, animation supervisor on Rogue One. You're watching Made in Hollywood. Here's a scene from the movie. If my father built this thing, we need to find him. They are requesting a call sign. It's, um, Rogue. Rogue One. You are the animation supervisor, so can you just tell me what does your job entail? Normally it's centered around creatures or characters, but it can involve anything that really has to move. Uh, so Rogue One, it was things like the space battle, all the spaceships in the space battle, our walking machines, our four-legged AT-ATs and two-legged ATSTs, and K2, of course, and then our digital humans. But K was our biggest, our funnest and biggest character thing to do in the film, for sure, yeah. A lot of filmmakers, they actually joined this industry because they watched a Star Wars movie and they thought, I, I need to grow up and I, want, I need to do a Star Wars film. So what is it like to actually be a filmmaker on a Star Wars film? Yeah, no, it's great. I, I was already interested in visual effects when I saw the original Star Wars when I was 12 and it kind of sealed the deal for me. That's what I wanted to do when I grew up and so, you know, getting to do it is, is awesome. And Rogue One especially because it takes place in the Star Wars timeline immediately before the original film, so it has the look and feel of the original Star Wars in terms of locations and costumes and characters, but yet it has this completely fresh tone and visual style that Gareth brought to it, and so it was like the best of both worlds. to get to do something really new with Star Wars, but in the most nostalgic part of the Star Wars universe, for sure. The power that we are dealing with here is immeasurable. Empire has this kind of power, what chance do we have? So you knew at a really young age that you wanted to do this, but what exactly did you do to get to where you are today? Because it's not easy. I watched a lot of movies as a kid. I started making my own movies as a kid with a Super 8 camera. I made a King Kong puppet out of a G.I. Joe with my mom helped me sew this gorilla costume for it, shuffling around, you know, knocking over cardboard buildings and kicking matchbox cars. And then I went to the California Institute of the Arts. I was in their experimental animation program and then just started working at one little shop after another. And then, uh, you know, had a few lucky breaks along the way and finally ended up here 20 years ago. This is my 20th uh, year at, at ILM. They call it the Death Star, but they have no idea there's a way to defeat it. So who do you collaborate with daily? Mostly my animators, the, the team of, of animators I have on a given project. You know, I'll sit in dailies with them and, and we'll talk about the work together. But also the visual effects supervisor is, is someone I partner with on the show. The visual effects supervisor is our creative lead on any project that we do. And in this case, it was John Knoll, who was not just the visual effects supervisor, but he actually thought up the idea for this movie. So he has story credit and executive producer credit, which is really unusual. They have no idea we're coming. Take hold of this moment. The force is strong. Make 10 men feel like 100. What advice do you have for any young aspiring animation supervisors? Sounds like a Nike commercial, but just do it. Like, don't wait for, don't say, oh, well, I'll make a short film when I have a better camera. You know, use your iPhone. Or I'll start animating when I have the right software. You know, take a pencil and do a flip book or get some, you know, freeware off the internet. There's, there's tons of good uh, animation software out there that doesn't cost anything like, like Blender. So just don't make excuses. Just get on with it and do it. That's my advice. Save the rebellion. Save the dream.